What's up friends? Welcome to the Friendly Food Forest channel. Getting lots of good work in behind us. Cleaning up some growth spots in the yard. And uh, getting the old deer poo picked up. So we got some of that picked up. Got our treasure in the bucket over here. For deer poop. And we're going to spread that out right over there where the camera is. Yep. And uh, get our annual garden going this year. And give it a little bit of nitrogen, a little permaculture spirit. Don't have enough of our own animals going yet. But uh, hey, we use what we got. We're going to put some nitrogen down. I got the tarps. So we're going to cover that area. Who knows this year if it's going to be for this spring. We'll see how fast that grass will die off for us. But definitely a fall garden. So we're going to start doing some prep on that. Checking out getting a delivery of compost. So we'll be ready to go. So we're out in the cold, shoring up our deer fence over here. Got everything picked up that they knocked down and uh, getting that a little more secure. This is the main place they like to come in and we've been buttoning up a couple other spots. And we're gonna add some nitrogen. This is the area that's gonna get tarped. It's our higher area in the friendly food forest. I'll take you out back in just a second and show you how wet it is. So instead of trying to get so many annuals to grow in the flood out back, hopefully this spot between our two raised beds in this little bit higher spot in the food forest will end up being a good place to do our annual. Like that? So this is the very back corner of the food forest. Had to come out the next day so you guys could actually see what we got. So we got some low laying spots that collect water. And especially with the wood chips, it kind of created a little bit of a dam. So we have slowed down the water flow in a couple different ways on the property here. We had two, three feet of snow all on that hill back there. And all that kind of slowly works its way through the property here. So we try to be smart and uh, manage the water a little bit. But with that said, it's been pretty challenging to get our annuals going in this back area here. In this back corner... It's almost an anaerobic smell you get early in the spring. So the plants really have a slow time going and then they can take off as it dries out back here. So we're thinking we're gonna try to propagate and buy more of these blueberries over here and spread them to these low lying areas out back. And then we'll be able to do our annuals over where we're talking about in the middle. Well, it looks a little brighter on video, but we are just about finishing up in the dark. Got our tarps out over here. We overlapped a little bit because we go from one fruit tree right up to one fruit tree. So we just went ahead and overlapped a little extra aggressive. It'll be interesting to see if the white area kills off the grass as good as this area. But I am going to go ahead and add a little bit more weight to it and maybe toss some wood chips on top, but then we'll be moved off to the pathways. And this is in, right in the middle of the food forest. We got our raised beds on each side, which is hard to see because it's getting dark. But uh, this will be our annual garden. Got a couple more tarps so we can extend it down this way a little bit. And then hopefully get them wood chips all filled in around the edge for our perennials. All right, getting tired, getting dark. So we'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, share this one around. Hey, even tap the bell. Friendly Food Forest 21. Cheers.